Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to blend together all different types of footage that's at different speeds. I recently made this video for Insta360 where I'm Doctor Strange, slowing everyone down around me and then speeding them up. This creates an amazing effect where I could weave and dodge through a time lapse. So listen up, you're going to learn a lot, and I have to let you know that this video is sponsored by my sugar daddy, Squarespace. So for this effect, there's a very specific way I think you should shoot this. So shot number one is the performance. I am reacting to all the people who are gonna be in slow motion or in fast motion. This I'm later gonna use to mask on top of the time lapse or the slow motion footage. Second shot is just a time lapse. I left my camera rolling, staring at the stairs, watching all these people go up and down. I changed the camera settings to 100 frames per second so I could then get a shot where everyone walking up the stairs could be in slow motion. So now we'll hop into After Effects and we'll open our performance clip. So then we will use a Rotobrush tool to mask out our performance. And then in this case, we're actually gonna duplicate this clip, take the rotoscope effect off of it, and then we're gonna use the pin tool to mask out the shadow. So this way your mask is gonna have a perfect contact shadow when you put it on top of the other footage. And so for this specific video, I wanted everyone to start out at normal speed and then get set to slow motion and then slowly speed up into a long time lapse. So I'll start this effect by bringing the slow motion footage underneath of my mask. And I actually hate speed ramping in After Effects. So I took this clip and I opened it up in Adobe Premiere to speed ramp it there. If you right click on your clip in Adobe Premiere, you can come down to show keyframes and click on speed. And in the effect controls, you can create a keyframe where you want everything to start slowing down. So I'll create this little ramp in Adobe Premiere and then I'll right click on this clip and I'll hit replace with After Effects composition. So now I'll bring this properly speed ramped clip back underneath of my mask. Because a lot of cameras don't let you shoot slow motion at the highest frame rate, you might have to scale this to fit your comp. So now we can watch this back and see that as I swing my arms, everyone around me goes into slow motion. Very cool. And so now if we wanna go from slow motion to fast motion, we're gonna hit U on this clip to drop down the keyframes. Where you want everyone to start speeding up, for me, it was right here when I start spiraling my arms. So I'll create a keyframe for time remapping right there. And then I'll come to the end of this composition and I'll grab the last speed ramping keyframe and drag that closer to the beginning of the composition. So now if we watch that back, the slow motion slowly starts going faster. We're gonna go to the keyframe in the composition where everything starts to get faster and we're gonna right click on it, keyframe assistant, and then we're gonna easy ease out. Cause then when we click on this keyframe, we can open up the curve graph editor and we can grab the yellow handlebars and we can ease the speed ramp to the right. So everything's gonna slowly start to get faster. You'll quickly notice that some of the time lapse is gonna be covering you or get covered by your feathered shadow. So what we're gonna need to do is mask out these parts of the time lapse to cover myself up. And After Effects doesn't like it when you try and mask on clips that have speed keyframes. So what we're gonna do is solo this clip where everything is slow motion and speeds up and we are going to export it. We're gonna export it as a QuickTime file, Apple ProRes 422. We'll bring that back into After Effects and then we'll mask all of the people who end up covering our mask or our shadow mask. And so now if we watch that back, it looks incredible. And that is how you blend together footage that's at all different speeds. And here's a quick tip, especially for what I shot, is I wanted a constant flow of people in this video. However, in the raw time lapses, there was these huge gaps of when a group of people would walk up these stairs. So I would actually cut up these time lapses to all the moments where people would start walking up the stairs and slowly one after the other, I would mask time lapses like this to slowly come up the back of the last one, creating that consistent flow of people coming. And when you do that, you do have to mask out all the new people people who are like in the middle of these feathered masks. But because we shot on a tripod, when you do this effect of just slowly masking in a new time lapse, it's gonna look fine because it's gonna line up with all the shots before it. I hope you learned something new in today's After Effects tutorial. And it's time to thank my amazing sponsor who you're gonna love, Squarespace. I have to introduce to you Squarespace's design intelligence. You might not know this about me, but I have the biggest collection of vintage life magazines in the world. And I want to create a site showing off this American history in a really pretty way. And so with Squarespace's design intelligence, I can create a website that looks perfect and vibey. So with these vintage magazines, maybe some cool vintage looking shapes to show off some covers. 
a nice color scheme that really matches the dark tones of these magazines. And if I need some assistance, they have award-winning templates. So I actually have a lot of duplicates of these vintage magazines and I wanna sell them as collector's items to other people. And what's amazing about that is Squarespace has online stores you can create. So if you have products, whether that's jewelry, plants, vintage magazines, you can create a beautiful online store with Squarespace. And even better, Squarespace Payments is endless. They have all the popular payment methods like Klarna and Afterpay, all the buy now, pay later options. And if you don't think Squarespace is incredible yet, well how about the fact that they gave me a code to give you for 10% off your first website or domain. So go get a discount on creating a website that will bolster your image as a professional. Really anybody can benefit from having an amazing website. So build it with Squarespace. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.